All of the problems covered in my videos can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link, you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I've uploaded to YouTube. I've uploaded over a hundred extra videos on this website that you can't find on YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. All right, let's begin our problem. Okay, let's take a walk through problem 1-2A. Now, you can be forgiven for looking at this workbook and saying to yourself, wait, I thought module one was on the financial statements. We haven't done any financial statements yet. This is a little bit like the karate kid when he's learning to wax on and wax off. What an old reference. But anyway, he's waxing a car and he learns Kung Fu. You have to learn these concepts before you can do the Kung Fu of preparing the financial. I guess it's not Kung Fu. I guess it's karate. Anyway, the analogy is terrible. The start to this video is terrible. I'm I'm not going to uh, delete it though. Let's get going and do some account classification. Um, each of the following accounts is either an asset, liability, shareholders, equity, revenue, expense, or dividend account. Uh, mark the first blank with the appropriate classification, A, L, S, E, Rev, X, or Div. Uh, if you've identified the item as either asset or liability, mark the second blank as C if it's current. And let's just, uh, I'm going to override this. And I'm going to say or NC for non-current. Okay, so let's get to it. The first item on our list here, long-term investments. Uh, we've got to say to ourselves, okay, well, uh, what is a long-term investment to a company? Is it, first I always think of asset or liability or shareholders equity account, and the answer is yes, that is indeed an asset. It's something a company can own, or control that a company should want to own or control. That is absolutely an asset. Now we got to say to ourselves, is that current or not? And the answer is not. Why? Because they say long term. I should distinguish here. What do we mean by current versus long term? This is our first time discussing this. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave that as current um, or non current rather. Current just means do we expect it to exist basically as it is for more than a year? Or do we expect it to be gone within a year? So an example of a current asset would be um, accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is when somebody owes us money, they, they uh, have to pay us, typically they have to pay us in less than a year. Maybe inventory, Walmart has inventory, inventory sitting on the floor, it's the stuff that Walmart's planning to sell us. Uh, that is a current asset. Walmart expects to sell that within a year. That is current. Non-current, if I'm looking at Walmart, uh, would be their shelves, like literally the physical shelves that they keep the stuff on. That's They're not going to sell that. They're not going to turn that over in a year. They, they're going to keep that for several years, tens of years even. Uh, the building, uh, Walmart building, is uh, another non-current asset. So again, we expect it to last more than a year. I always call that long-term in my mind, but the distinguishing feature here is one year. For liabilities, when I get a phone bill and I haven't paid it yet, I got to pay in 30 days. That is a current liability. We call it an account payable. Uh, for long-term or non-current liabilities, think of the mortgage or the longer-term bank loans or notes. These are uh, long-term or non-current liabilities. Okay, so accounts receivable. Well, I've given this one away. Anytime you see the word receivable, think asset. Somebody's going to be paying us in the future. That's going to create a future economic benefit for us. That's the definition of an asset, right? We're going, it's something you should want to own our control. And yes, we do control accounts receivable. That is an asset. And when somebody owes you money, typically you're going to collect within a year. Like that's a long time to be owed. So most always, almost always accounts receivable are current. The assumption here I would give in any class, unless it states otherwise specifically is accounts receivable are expected to be collected within 30 days. So that's definitely less than a year. Consulting revenue, well, it's got the word revenue. That's a revenue. We don't state it as current or non-current. That's only for assets and liabilities. Rent revenue, Again, a revenue account. Computer, what is a computer? Well, it doesn't have the word revenue in it. Uh, you might think, oh, it's an expense. You gotta have computers, that's a cost. Well, computers are an asset, right? They're things you can own and control. I'm, I'm typing this on a computer right now or, or delivering this through a computer. This is an asset of mine. Uh, and now you've gotta ask yourself the question, current or long-term? You'd say, well, computers, you just gotta you know, keep buying new ones. And 
if a company is turning over their computers in less than a year, I think you could argue to, to call them current, but uh, I think most companies would expect to get more than a year out of a computer. I've gotten two or three out of this one, and I'm going to get two or three more. I imagine they are absolutely long term or ah non-current. Sorry, I always, I my brain thinks in long term, but most modern textbooks now just say it's either current or not current. I, th I think current or long term in my brain. I think that's old school thinking. Uh, mortgage payable. Well, there's another magic word. I mentioned receivable is a magic word indicating asset. Payable is a magic word indicating liability. And you can think mortgage like it's something you owe. So absolutely, it's a liability. And uh, is it current? <laughs> Not very often, right? Only in the last year. But I would say this is absolutely a non-current uh, liability. My mortgage is a 30-year mortgage, uh, and that is not unusual. Salaries payable. Where there's that magic word payable, salaries payable. Okay, so it's salaries that I owe my employees. That's what salaries payable are. Am I going to pay them within a year? you're darn right that they're not going to work for me, right? If you if you didn't get paid every couple of weeks, you, you would stop working there. So this is current for sure. Cash, it's an asset. It's a current asset. And indeed, it's the most current of current assets. So when we think about cash, you might think, well, wait, I have cash this year. I'm going to have cash next year. I'm going to have cash the next year. Well, that's true, but you don't have the same cash. Your cash is constantly churning. It's going up and down and up and down because you're using it. So cash is being spent near constantly. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. Uh, so that makes it the most current of current assets. Equipment is an asset. It's something you can own and control. It's good to own and control. And it is non-current. It lasts several years. Retained earnings. We haven't talked that much so far about shareholders' equity accounts. Retained earnings is a shareholder's equity account. It's the account that tracks the owner's piece of the pie as it grows and shrinks when the company makes a profit, right? When the company makes profit, that helps the shareholder's equity. If the company loses money, that hurts the owner's piece of the pie. Retained earnings is like the shareholder's equity account to be worried about. Um, and we'll explain it in more detail when we get to our statement of changes in shareholder's equity in uh, a couple of videos. Probably next, yeah, 1-3, 1-4. Uh, all those problems will we'll have a look at retained earnings. But just know that it is one of the fundamental shareholder's equity accounts. Temporary investments. We had investments up at the top. We said it was an asset. So yeah, it's absolutely an asset. Uh, temporary seems to indicate though that it's current, that we're buying and selling more quickly. Accounts payable. We see the word payable. That means liability. Think phone bill. When you think account payable, think a bill you got to pay within 30 days. This is a current liability. Income tax expense got the word expense it's an expense car is an asset just like a piece of equipment so it's an asset and it's not current uh, i'm gonna scroll down a bit if i can hmm weird i'm having a tough time scrolling here hmm i'm not used to this uh software i'm gonna trick it into scrolling all right uh salaries expense that's indeed an expense. Utilities expense, it's got the word expense in it. It's an expense. Land is an asset, and that is a non-current asset or a long-term asset. Inventory is an asset. We talked about Walmart's inventory. And we said, oh, they expect to sell it within, you know, 30 days, 60 days at most. Uh, that's a current asset for Walmart. You might say, well, what about Toyota? They, their inventory, the stuff they own that they're planning to sell, that's inventory. You know, their cars, cars last for like 10, 20 years. Well, not on the dealership lot they don't right if you're toyota and you're selling cars that's your inventory you want to turn it over in much less than a year so it's absolutely a current asset for virtually any company building is an asset and it is non-current long term uh interest expense well it's got the word expense in it bank loan payable well again the word payable liability Bank loan, uh, I would say it's a non-current liability, although that's not crystal clear here. I think that's a pretty good assumption. Common shares, well, it's got the word share, kind of indicating shareholders equity. So the two fundamental pieces of shareholders equity here are common shares and retained earnings. There are other equity accounts as we'll learn, 
uh, there's preferred shares, there's accumulated other comprehensive income. I don't think those are things you should be really be concerning yourself too much with in chapter one, uh, but they're absolutely concepts that are fundamental to equity. At this point, just no common shares. You buy shares in a company, you're typically buying common shares, retained earnings. That's the owner's piece of the earnings. When the company makes a profit, the owner makes a profit. So uh, that's good news for the shareholders. Uh, last one, expense. Uh, telephone expense is indeed an expense. All right, that's it for uh, this problem. Stay tuned for the next one.